Hello, hello, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch. We also teach general IT skills and techniques right here on this channel. Remember, you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload what new content. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between lookup and then what view lookup in Microsoft Excel. So, without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So basically, we say lookup. Lookup are functions that allow users to search for pieces of data in rows or columns, and then it's going to re return the corresponding pieces of data in another row or column. So what about VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP is similar to the lookup, but in this case, you are going to search for that in a vertical order, or it will return from it will return the value from the left to the right. It will return your value from left to right. Okay. Considering lookup, you can do that from left to right and then what right to left. But with VLOOKUP, we are always going to do that in one direction that's from the left to what right. So, what's the benefit of lookup versus or lookup over what VLOOKUP? User can search for data both vertically and horizontally. So, the vertically is the columns and the horizontal is the rows. It also allows for left to right and then right to left procedure but will look up only allow you to search from what left to right it's simpler to use and doesn't require what selecting the entire table and can replace both vlookup and an h lookup function and easier to audit with what f2 that vlookup or h lookup so basically that is what we are going to do let's jump straight into excel and see how these things are going to work so i'm going to open excel I'm going to open Excel and then I have some sample data here. I've opened Excel and I have some sample data here in we are going to look, we are going to work with. Okay. I have ID name, country, age, and the revenue. So I'm going to use both the VLOOKUP and then the lookup functions to do some bit of practicals over here. So what we're going to do is that let's try to get an ID. We have an ID column and we get an ID. How then do we get the age? So we can use what VLOOKUP to do that. Okay. Notice that ID. Once we use the ID as our lookup value, and we want to look for H. H is on the right. So we can use VLOOKUP to do that. So without much ado, let's try and then have an ID of one, and then we can get the H. So I'm going to say to use the function lookup. We say the equal to VLOOKUP. We are using VLOOKUP. So I want to use this as my lookup value. If I select this. I need to what I'm looking for the age okay so I'm searching for the age within this range so I'm going to drag from my ID column to the age and then sorry I need to select from here to the age okay we are using the VLOOKUP and then I have to bring comma so what do I need from here we have our age in the what in the fourth row so I have to type in four and if I close this and I hit enter I notice what ID number one is having the age of what, 29 and we can use the same procedure to also get the country so basically with the VLOOKUP we are able to get or retrieve our result from what left to right and we can do it in the opposite direction like we said earlier on so let me come here with my ID I should be able to get the name also over here okay even before that if I change this ID to ID number two and I hit enter sorry if i change this to id number two and i hit enter i notice i change to 35 if i change to another id number four and i hit enter it's updating the age for us we've been able to use a vlookup to do that let's use the same procedure to also get a name so if i say equal to vlookup and this is my lookup value the id comma and we want the name so i just time around fully select up to this i think i have my name over i can drag across bar I'm okay with this and you notice my name column is on column 2 from my selection so I just have to put 2 over there close hit enter sorry I need to close it the bracket this way if I hit enter I'm getting what sterling which is what ID number 4 so this is actually working for me using the VLOOKUP so if I should change this to a different ID let's say ID number 3 
notice that it's updating both the name and then what they eat for me everything is working perfectly so let's use the same procedure and then get out of the country and then do that for the revenue as well so let's use the same procedure and use the vlookup so using the vlookup to get our country now so we are using the id as our lookup value and we are looking for the country so you let me drive from here to here notice this time around when you bring command our country is on the third column okay so i have to put three over there close this and hit enter so i'm getting what germany as what my country okay so lastly let's also get our revenue using the vlookup so if i enter here vlookup and then we are using our lookup value as the id again and we want the revenue so you have to draw from here to here so look at the number of columns we have now so revenue is now on the fifth column one two three four five so we have to type in five close our bracket hit enter and notice that we are on, we are in germany now and germany is having what a revenue of what three thousand dollars if i change this to four it's going to update everything for me so notice that four is uk the name is telling the age is 45 and the revenue is what seven thousand dollars if i change this to what one and i hit enter notice what one is john ghana the age is 29 and then the revenue is what two thousand dollars so basically this is how you can use the vlookup so i'm able to search from the left to the right but i can't do it in the opposite direction okay so let's use the same procedure using the lookup and see how this is going to work so let's say still stick to id column after id column we switch in the opposite direction and you notice that the lookup will work in the opposite direction for us so i have my id and i want to get the the country so the country here i just have to type in so this time i'm not using the vlookup i'm using the lookup okay so if i select lookup i'm using i need my lookup value which is my id comma this time around, I don't need to select the entire row. I need my lookup vector. My lookup vector is my ID, and then I need my result vector. So my result vector is what I'm looking for. I need what? My country. So I'll select my country column this way. Select my country, this column this way. Hit enter, and I'm getting Ghana. So that's Ghana is what? ID 1. Okay. If I change the ID to ID 2, it should be able to update the country for me as well. If I change the ID to ID 3, and in that order so let's use the same procedure and then also get the name for us okay with lookup we don't care where the value is located because it works in both direction okay so i'm going to say lookup i'm using the lookup remember we are on lookup we are done with the lookup so i'm using my id as my lookup value comma and then i need my lookup vector which is the same id then finally i need my result vector i want the name so i need to select the name column this way okay so when I hit enter, I should be getting what Jordan. If I change anything at all, I change the ID, it should update everything for me. So Kelvin US, and if you check over at Kelvin US as well, so we can also get the age. So if I come here, look up, look up, my lookup value is same as ID, and I need my lookup vector. I'm still using the ID column, and lastly, I need the age. So I need to select my age column this way close the hit enter and notice kelvin is us and then the 835 so let's get a revenue so let's try to fetch the revenue which is five thousand dollars okay so let's go to equal to look up and our lookup value is the id comma sorry i need to bring comma here so comma i need my lookup vector and my lookup vector is the same id the same id and i don't need the result vector my result vector is i need the revenue so i need to select the revenue column this way when i hit enter i should be getting what the revenue as well for kelvin which is exactly as expected so if i change this to id number three everything will be updated for for us so this is how lookups will work for us so you'll be able to do that from the left to the right let's try like i said let's try and do it from the left to from the right to the left this is going to work so assuming we have the age now a 29 and then we want to let's say get the id let's see if this is going to work for us using the lookup function so let's say equal to look 
remember we said lookup can work from left to right and right to left so that is what we want to try and see so my lookup value is the id sorry the h comma and then i still need my lookup vector which is the same h and then the result vector is the id remember we need the id now so i'll just close this hit enter and a 29 as suspected is having an id of one if i change the age let's say the age is 35 and we change is 35 is what kelvin and kelvin is have an id of two and it's working that way if i change this to 45 we can also get an id of that okay so you notice this is working in opposite direction we can use this to do or to get a value for the rest okay okay so we are you also use the name or we can even use the country to also get a name so let's try that let's say I zoom in I have Ghana Ghana here and I want to get a name you can see you can use the lookup to do that so lookup and then I'm using Ghana as my lookup value okay and then I need my lookup vector which is the same country and comma and then I need my result vector which is what now the name so this is where I want my results if I close this and I hit enter I notice what I'm getting I'm getting John over here okay so if I come here and I change this to let's say US and I hit enter it will update that for me okay so we can do that going through the entire value using look up to run through our entire value okay so we use that to get the rest of our value so let me just delete this and also based on the name i can easily get the id as well and i believe this should also work so if i can say lookup and i'm using my name as my lookup value and then i need my lookup vector which is the same as name column and then i want the id so i have to select the id column and i hit this kelvin is what id number two and it's working okay let's do that for the each column as well so with this each column we can use so let's try and then use the id column to get it for the each or we can even use the us remember look up will work in opposite direction okay both left to right and right to left so you want to get an age i can base on any of them to be able to get my age okay so try and then work on the rest and leave a comment below if you have any contribution or any addition you want to add to this video remember to subscribe and just let me know at the comment section remember to subscribe and let me know at the comment section by giving me a screenshot thank you so much for watching this tutorial till i come your way another time remember to subscribe and support this young channel to be able to grow to give you amazing content just as you have now bye bye